Today is International Women's Day and I just thought I'd get on here and ask what uh, that meant to you. Have a bit of a chat about what that means uh, for all of us. Uh, do you uh, spend International Women's Day looking back at what you've accomplished over the last 12 months? Do you make plans at what that could mean for you for the next 12 months or the next two years or five years? Do you, do you look at what role you are playing in um, helping to create change for women in the world? Or do you just, you know, go through the day, it's another work day, it's nothing unusual, nothing's happened. Maybe go to a lunch, an International Women's Day lunch, um, listen to the speakers, have a bit of a chat, have a good time. And then go back to life waiting for someone to maybe wave a magic wand and um, create change and instantly have a, a better life. Um, I wanted to talk about what we can do as individuals for creating empowerment and change for women. Okay, this is not... It is a great big movement that is is all around the world with a lot of women doing a lot of big and wonderful stuff. But it is an individual job as well. Okay, the reason I read on, uh, I'm going to a lunch uh, to, to, today as well, and, and it said on the invite, you know, um, studies say that, you know, um, e equality is like 200 years away. That's what it said on the invite. So there's a lot of work that needs to be done. And I just wanted to talk about what that means for us as individuals. Because change happens in here. It happens for each single one of us inside. The reason why we don't have equality right now, the reason why it is not moving as fast as what we would like it, is because deep down... There are such a majority of women who still have a lack of confidence, a lack of self-worth, a lack of self-respect. They don't value themselves. And this is what is holding us back. And that is something that can only change at an individual level. That happens with you. So it sort of um, reminded me of this saying, you know, that I know my mum used to say, and you've probably heard it too, that stop worrying about what everybody else is doing and concentrate on what you're doing, what you're doing with your life, what you're believing, what you're feeling and what you're portraying to the world. And with each one of us changing our life, it will ripple out and create that change that we want to see in the world. Okay, and one of the biggest things I think that we are missing in this in this battle to to become equal is understanding um, what role we play in our own lives. You know, understanding the, even the difference between the male and female brain. You know, we go to work and we we sit there, and I've done this myself. I know. I'll use an example. You know, I went. Um, had a job in a in an office and um and I worked my butt off. I love my job. I was passionate about it and I did 110% every single day. And I went I wanted a pay rise and I sort of mentioned it a couple of times and it was brushed off by the management which were men and I just sort of I stewed on it and I thought, "You know what? They know what I do." They know that I do this job, that I'm here early and I leave late. They know, this is what I was saying to myself, they know that none of this would get done if I wasn't here. They know I'm doing more than what the girl down on the reception sitting there answering the phone all day does. You know, I did a hundred different little jobs and they all had to be done for the place to run as it did. And, and, and this was my internal stuff. They know, they know, they know. And you know what? They had no idea. When I went, took me two years to get the courage to go into the boss's office and say, you know what, I need a pay rise. I do more. You know, I meet all of these criteria that were on the list to, you know, move to the next step. And and I sat there and he said, okay, we'll talk about it. You know, we're right. Once I went and actually said it, number one, 
okay he had no idea I was stewing he had no idea <clears throat> what I was thinking or what I was feeling but the moment I went and said hey I want to talk about this he said okay let's make an appointment let's sit down and do it Okay, so that's number one. I had the confidence to actually take that next step, which most of us don't, okay? And I know, just as a side, there will be women out there that say, well, you know what, I have the confidence and I have self-worth and I have all of this. I don't understand what you're talking about. You know what, if that's you, fantastic. That is so fantastic that you have all of those things, but the majority of women don't, okay? Studies will show all the women who go through these courses, you know, not 70% of, of bums on personal development seats are women. They're searching for something and they're there and then they go the next one, they go the next one, they go the next one because they're not finding what it is. And that's his deep, deep down here inside. This confidence, this self-worth, this value, okay? If we valued ourself totally, if we knew inside of ourselves that we are worth this we are worth all of this we are worth it then then we wouldn't be in this battle for equality okay so that's where we've got to get to we've got to get to that knowing that we are of value that we are worthy that we are confident to have that inside of us so back to this story with the boss I went in there and I said I said okay I do this and I do this and I do this and he said do you do that and I said, well, yes of course I do that well I didn't know you did that. And I, you know, to me it was like common sense. Who do you think, how do you think it gets done? Unicorns and fairies? Of course I do this. I do this and this and this and the place wouldn't run without this. And it was completely eye-opening to me that he had no, absolutely no idea what I actually did every single day to keep that place running. Okay, and a lot of you might say, well... You might be just up yourself, Maria. But no, I I worked really hard and I knew what I did. And, and it was, for me, I, I sort of, in that moment, lost respect for that boss. And I lost the passion for that job. And, and it's not until now that I've let all of these barriers and filters and stuff go that it was, it wasn't, you know, that I didn't understand how his brain worked okay it wasn't his fault he didn't understand it wasn't um you know some big it was just that we don't understand i didn't understand him and he didn't understand me uh, it was just a matter of me saying okay i want to talk about this and he said okay but then he didn't you know we just don't ask we don't have the courage. We don't have this this sense of worth that we can, okay, I can go in and say to the boss. And that is one of the biggest struggles that we have in building and getting to this pay equality and, and having, you know, equal women and men in, in those high executive roles. We do not understand how it works, how our brains work. How we're thinking a certain way. We're perceiving things in a certain way. And my perception will be different to the next woman because our perceptions are from every single event, every single relationship we've had, our parents, our siblings, our friends through school, our different bosses and colleagues, you know, all of our life. We are building these, these filters and these perceptions of life. So for every single person, they're different. But we have to have an understanding of these perceptions, okay? How I perceive this job or this person or this relationship is different to how someone else perceives it. And we have to have the confidence. We have to have the strength and the purpose and the courage to stand up for what we want, to ask. You know, it may be a simple, okay, yes, we'll make an appointment and we'll sit down and talk about that. I stewed about that for two years and, and he was completely open to that conversation. I walked away unhappy from that meeting. I got a pay rise. I did. I got what I wanted after I'd sat there and explained everything that I'd done. Oh, okay, I didn't realise you'd done that. There you go. So I should have been completely happy, but for some reason, this is way pre before my creatrix breakthrough and getting rid of all of my, you know, uh, limiting beliefs and all of my negativity and hurt and all of that stuff. Okay, so I got what I want, but yet I was still unhappy. Okay, so, you know, we need to understand what's going on with inside of ourselves. We need to stand up 
and ask. We need to have the strength and the courage. We need to have value in ourself. We need to step up and take the power, okay? Nobody else is going to give us the power. We have to fight. And you know what? Sometimes it's not a fight. It's just knowing that we have to step up. Okay, so um, I had so much that I was going to put in this video and it's just sort of left my mind right now. Um, so for us to um, create change, we have to change ourselves first. Okay, we have to understand what's going on within us. And we have to know that, that we have to stand up and, and, and fight for ourselves, for one. Ask ourselves. Now, the biggest thing, and I talk to women all the time, is that they don't value themselves or their personal development. And, I, and, and in, in that personal development, I mean, you know, getting that confidence and creating change for themselves. They do not value themselves you know I speak to women and and they say oh no I can't spend 100 bucks on myself you go on holiday oh yeah yeah and, you know I go on holiday we're just about to buy a car oh okay so you know the the car you know the $80,000 car is more important to you right now than you know you feeling better about yourself because you know really a $20,000 car can get you from A to B okay it's it's what you value um, and, and a lot of women, okay, a majority of women are putting themselves last. And we have been taught from generation to generation to generation that that is what we're expected to do. So we don't even actually think about it. You know, I literally have created that awareness for some of these women. They just don't even see that they're putting themselves last. You know, oh, you, 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 your daughter needs braces? Yeah, sure, I can. I will find the money. You know, I've had friends, oh, my daughter's just done her ACL, $4,000 for an operation. Boom, they find it. But you, you say, okay, do you want to spend some money on yourself? Oh, God, no, I couldn't do that. So that there is that lack of value. And in, in having that lack of value, you are, by example, showing that to your daughters, okay? If you want equality for women you want that for your daughters you want that for your granddaughters your nieces you want that for you know the, the world really you want it for boys and girls you want everyone to live a good life to be equal to have their best self you have to lead by example you have to show them what that means for you you have to love you have to have confidence you have to have that self-worth and then that shows what they are capable of having in their own life. Okay, have you ever had a friend and you see them and you think, oh my God, you know, they're, they're letting people walk all over them or their, you know, their partner or their work or their something or other, you know, they're just, you can see it in somebody else. And then you see their kid doing exactly the same thing in a shitty relationship, you know, having emotional, mental abuse. Maybe it's physical abuse. And you think, you know what, I've seen it there and they said, why can't they see it? Can you see it in yourself? You know, I don't, you know, you have to be aware of what's going on. You have to stand up. You have to love you first. And that is where our power comes from. And that is going to be the thing that, that brings change. Yeah? Okay. So, um, yeah, for International Women's Day, I just wanted to create a bit of an awareness you know, that we need to work on us. We need to step up to get our power, you know. I had a client um, come to me after her second session and she said, oh, my God, Maria, even, even, my, even my dog loves me more now. You know, this was her energy that she was emitting to the whole world. And she said before we started that she didn't want to be around anyone because she knew she was toxic. She just wanted to be invisible and didn't want to go anywhere or be around anyone because she knew she had toxic energy. And, you know, we all can walk into a room and say, oh, my God, you know, and I think to ourselves, oh, I don't want to be around that person. You can see, okay, 
kids and animals can sense it even more than us adults. So if you don't have that self-worth or that self-confidence, of course everyone else can sense it. We need to work on ourselves first. And if you want to create change, whether it's for your home life, for your kids, for your business success, then stop waiting for somebody else to create that success and then just, you know, pass it off. This isn't going to be this, this fight for equality. It isn't going to happen by half a dozen big famous people and then we'll all have it. We will still have to have the confidence to walk into a room and say, I want that job, I want that pay rise. We are still going to have to have that value to know when we're in a job that is worthy of us, that we can do that and be the best version of ourselves. So if you want to talk about what this might mean for you, about creating change inside of yourself, but getting that confidence, you know, when you have confidence, when you have self-worth, you, you also have a peace, a calm, a quiet in your mind. You know, you have passion and purpose. And you feel good about getting up every day and doing what it is that you love. And you're spreading joy and you're spreading good energy and, and good vibes and everybody around you can see that you're worthy of the next level of doing whatever it is that you say you want to do. So it's up to each, every single one of us to work on ourselves, to step up, take our power. And that is what is going to bring change to the world. Don't wait. Okay. Because 200 years, we're not going to be here to experience that. That's way too long. If you want to experience it, you're going to have to fight for it. So I can help you. I can help you be that person you want to be, to be that person who has the confidence, to has their self-worth and the value that will help you step up and take, be whatever you want to be and take that, the bull by the horns and get out there and do what it is you want to do with your life. So reach out. I'll put a link in here. Um, I hope this has been of value to you. I hope it's just created a bit of awareness. Um, you know, I know there are women out there who have all of this stuff and, and we are, we are wanting to, to help the rest of you to be there with us. Okay. And it's just a matter of knowing, knowing what, what it is, having an awareness of that. So reach out, step up, take control. Be the best version of you today. I'm Marie McGrath, founder of Restore Balance and Harmony, creatrix, transformologist.